Hello, everyone. This is Latia for you coming today with another scripture from the Lord. This is will be in James chapter three, verse five, as well as Hebrews chapter four, verse 18. Let's go ahead and pray and we can get started. Thank you, Father God, for this word. Thank you for helping the word to examine us in truth, Lord God, help us to come out as pure gold. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. All right, you guys, James chapter three, verse five. So also the tongue is a small member, yet it boasts of great things. All right. So, um, you know, we've come across the tongue scriptures a lot lately, and I really feel like it is truly a plan of the enemy to try to get us with this tongue because of course it talks about the tongue tongue not being tameable right we can do all things through christ who gives us strength and we are perfect because he is perfect as long as we're abiding in christ and letting him be the lord of our lives we can do anything but god is uh, um warning us consistently in his word about our tongues right and how it's so small it seems like such a small thing and yet it boasts of great things, right? You know, a person can say to you just a few words while you're a child, right? Or while you're in a vulnerable state and it can affect your future, right? As an adult. And so, um, yeah, it's, it's just like what it says, you know, it could set a forest to blaze, right? What sets forests to blaze? Usually a small ember something very tiny and yet it could consume a whole forest right so um yeah that is god has truly been dealing with me um about my tongue and just in his word just showing me the tongue the tongue and 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 we need to just be very careful with the words that we say, especially if we want to operate in great power, right? If you speak haphazardly, you can't operate in great power because the heavens are going to automatically try to cancel what you're saying because your life is not aligning with your words, right? And also if you speak haphazardly, then um, you're going to um, be saying things. And if you're operating in great power, and you speak that way, then crazy things are going to end up happening and you don't want that to happen. So you, you want your words, your yes to be yes and your no to be no, right? You, you want to, um, speak what you mean and mean what you speak so that, um, when you're standing before God and you're asking him for something, or you're speaking about a thing, you know, excuse me, I had to sneeze. Um, you, you can be confident, right. And not condemned because you know that your words are, um, aligning with the walk that God wants you to, to walk, right. And your words are truth, right. It's almost best to just be quiet than to speak and speak amiss, right? All right. So let's go to the next verse, Hebrews chapter four, verse 16. Let us then with confidence draw near to the throne of grace that we may receive mercy and find grace to help in time of need. So it says, let us then with confidence draw near to the throne of grace. How can we with confidence draw near to the throne of grace? Well, because we are walking by the spirit of God, right? We walk by the spirit of God, um, when we abide in Christ and we're listening for the voice of the Holy Spirit to lead us and guide us into all truth, he's telling us what to do. He's telling us how to live. He's telling us the words to speak, right? And so, um, he's also telling us what gates to close. And we talked about that before, you know, um, your ear gates, your eye gates, things that let things in, um, pile up in your heart and out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. So the tongue is really controlled by basically the gates, right? The gates that we leave open and allow open into our hearts. And then those things spill over through our tongue. So 
It says, let us then with confidence draw near to the throne of grace. We can do that because we abide in Christ and we're listening to his Holy Spirit and being led by it. Um, It says that we may receive mercy and find grace to help in time of need, that we may receive mercy. Wow. You know, we are in great need of mercy as it relates to our tongues. Um, We need to ask God for help in controlling our tongues. We need to, because how, why? Because we can draw near to the throne of grace. We have this ability because we are with Christ and Christ um, covers us and covers our ability to draw near to the throne. All right. And so it says that we may receive mercy and find grace to help in the time of need. So that, that is pretty much covering all of our needs. Um, we can come to him and we can um, ask him for what we want confidently. And and we can, we can trust that he is going to provide, right? He's going to see us through every season in our life. And so um, we can do that with confidence because we are found in him. All right. And so um, we need to remember our, our words are powerful. And, and if we have every gate open and we're watching everything and we're speaking to everybody, saying what we want to say, watching what we want to watch, listening to what we want to listen to, and we're using no discretion, we're not using the Holy Spirit to tell us, go here, go there. Um, then we're leaving ourselves open and vulnerable and our tongue is going to get out of control. And so um, if that happens, then we need to make sure that we um, repent, right? When things like that happen and we need to make sure that we turn back to the leading of the Holy Spirit, that leading of the Holy Spirit is going to lead you into all truth. He's going to lead you and guide you into all truth. Um, is we'll be able to draw near again to the throne of grace, right? Um, that we may receive mercy. He's going to give us mercy. All we have to do is repent. Repentance is a wonderful gift that He's given us. A gift of grace. A gift of mercy. And, um, he is going to show us great grace and great mercy. And, and that is going to help us anytime we're in need, right? It says, and find grace to help in the time of need. All right, you guys, let's pray. Thank you, Father God, that we can abide in you. Thank you for Holy Spirit that's leading and guiding us into all truth. Um, forgive us for our sins, Jesus. Forgive us for using our tongue improperly. Forgive us for um, just leaving our gates open that pour into our hearts and cause our tongues to kind of take a life of their own, Lord. Help us not to do that. Help us to be vigilant and sober and listening for the voice of your Holy Spirit, which is telling us which way to go. Lord God, help us abide in it. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. All right, you guys. Um, If there's anybody out there who would like to receive Jesus as your Savior and Lord, go ahead and pray this prayer with me. But more than anything, believe it with all your heart as you confess it with your mouth. Dear Lord Jesus, I ask you to come into my heart. I make you my Lord and Savior. Jesus, I believe you died on the cross. And I believe you rose again on the third day so that I could be saved. Thank you, Father God, for doing this for me. Jesus, forgive me for all of my sins. Cleanse me from all unrighteousness. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. All right, you guys, if you pray that prayer and you believe that prayer, then the Holy Spirit has come into you and sealed in, sealed you until the day of redemption and no one can break that seal except Christ Jesus himself when he comes to redeem his church the holy spirit is in you to lead you and guide you into all truth meaning he is going to show you the way for your life that god has set out before you um go out find a church home find other believers to be around so that you can stay sharp in the word of god 
go get baptized and make sure you tell other people about Christ's love and, and make disciples of all men. Amen. All right, you guys, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you and give you his children his peace. Take care.